how do I export a schedule to PDF? And how do I make sure it's formatted correctly? Yeah, this is a great question, and it's one that many of us struggle with. Um, the, there is no, unfortunately, there is no like built-in print to PDF in P6. There should be. Maybe that's coming out in a future version, but there should be because that's what we do. We take our Gantt chart, we print it to PDF. So let me walk you through how to send that thing over to PDF. Let's get a project open. Ah, look, we've got one. The Heaton project. That looks good. Now, in order to get this thing printing to a PDF, I just want to expand my menu here. We need to first have installed some sort of a print to PDF driver. Now, I wrote a blog post on this. Um, Plan Academy, I come in here search and just put in PDF and posts because this is all explained really clearly how to print PDF and P6 professional there it is okay so the first step is to install some sort of a uh, PDF printer okay so what I like to do is uh, work with Adobe Acrobat. Now I have a subscription to Adobe tools. I pay for those because I use a lot of Adobe stuff in doing my Plan Academy work. If you don't want to pay for those, um, of which I believe Acro Adobe, Acro Adobe Acrobat DC, I believe is a paid tool. See down here, I say it's not free. It costs about 15 bucks a month. You don't have to go that way. Although I do like Adobe Acrobat because it has a lot of nice features and allows you to format stuff even after it's printed to PDF. But there are many free um, PDF printer tools out there. Uh, here's one I also recommend, Do PDF. That was the one of the, when I wrote this blog post that was fairly popular and I believe it still is. Here's some others, Qt PDF, PDF 995, Bullzip, those all work. Okay, but you need some sort of print to PDF tool installed. Okay, so once you got that, then we can come into P6 and we can simply do our print preview. Okay, and this is where the formatting happens. Uh, now, let's say we're going to print the Gantt chart and not, um, not something else. So printing the Gantt chart, there's a couple things you want to know. Um, first off, notice the you can only see a portion of my Gantt chart here. And I can see start, finish, and total float. Now, what actually happens is where you move this line, where you move this divider line is going to be reflected in the printout. So if I move it there and come back to my print preview, just wait, it's coming. And if I click this little button in the top left, which gives me the page setup, I need to go over here to options. These the stuff on this options uh, tab is really going to control how the formatting works. Okay, you have your time scale, so you can pick um, from the start of the project to the end of the project. Uh, that works really well. And um, I actually like to alter these slightly. Um, what I like to do is give myself an extra buffer on either side. So I will take the PS and subtract a month. So I'm going to do from one month before the start of the project. And I'm also going to add one month after the end of the project. Just gives my uh, time scale a little bit more so that I have stuff right on the line. Now, what I was doing with the divider a moment ago, that is affected by this all columns. So if I uncheck all columns, go ahead and click apply. Did you see what happened? See how my divider moved to here? If I turn it back on, the divider line comes here. So if you only want so many columns on your screen, you can work with the divider by dragging that divider over to the left and right and working with this all columns on or off. Okay, now let's say you don't want the Gantt chart. You can turn it off. Maybe you just want the activity list. You can turn it off. Maybe you want the opposite. Maybe you don't want the activity table and you just want the Gantt chart. Well, then you can do that. Okay. Typically, we want both. So that's where we're going to leave all that stuff on. OK, 
Okay, configure that stuff properly. Uh, it sort of reset my PS and my PF, but um, now there's some other plane you can do um, to get this to work. See how I have pages going over to the right and left and then pages down. Okay, a bunch of pages down and then some pages over to the right. Maybe I don't want to have those pages over to the right. Well, here's what I do. Page setup. One thing I do is I set this to a huge paper size. So huge paper size are um, like A4 or A1, I think, is even bigger. I forget, but let's try the A4. Okay, so A4 is much bigger. Maybe A6. I forget which one, what they are. No, A6 is smaller. Um, but if you can find A1, if you have A1 programmed, it's even bigger than standard um, sizes. And, of course, there's a whole bunch of other ones in here you can play with. I have envelopes in here. Let's go legal. Legal's really wide. Okay, so that's pretty good. But the, the wider you can get it, the more stuff you're going to get on that page. And, and if it's just a PDF printout, you don't really care, right? So what you could do also, I think, is do a custom. Was there a custom in here? Uh, I guess not. I thought there was a custom, something custom, but we'll, we'll stick it to legal. Okay, so now I've got uh, stuff almost on one page, but then we can work with this fit, fitting the time scale and fitting stuff to one to a couple pages. Let's go one page wide by a couple pages tall. Okay, that will setting this to one page wide will get the whole Gantt chart on one page. Um, so there's some finagling you'll have to do there to figure out how to make it pretty, but basically now. Everything's on one page. I'm not going to the right or left. <clears throat> and then you basically are just going to actually print it and just pick your PDF printer and go ahead and print it. Let's see here. Let me save this over here in my uh, on my desktop, and I'll just call this that. And there it is in PDF. Okay. Um, so it's not that complicated, but there is some working and tweaking to make it look properly, to make it look proper. And when you zoom in, you can see it looks pretty nice and crisp. When you zoom out, it doesn't look so crisp. You can also work with the header and the footer and put all the information that you want in the header and footer. I leave that up to you uh, to play with. Okay. So, so that's how you print uh, your Gantt chart to PDF. Whatever you have on screen in P6, you can print to PDF. So you can print the Gantt chart. You can print the other graphs. Um, you can print, you know, any of that. In basically anything that you have on screen, you can print. Okay. Hey, Evan from Plan Academy here. Hope you liked that video. If you did, feel free to give it a like down below. It really helps out the channel and we appreciate it. Also, you can subscribe if you haven't already to make sure you stay in the loop. Speaking of staying in the loop, have you checked out our website, planacademy.com? If you want to check that out, it's right here at the end of all of our videos. Of course, you can just keep watching. See you in the next one.